First of all, Imam Asuki, who comes later on, he's a later scholar, he comes after Imam al-Dhahabi, he's Imam al student, right? He writes a very important book called Tabaqat al-Shafi'iyya. And he mentions this very important principle when it comes to um, criticism and the validation of a person. And he says, it is crucial and beneficial to understand this principle, which is not commonly found in the foundational texts. And that is, the principle is, when you, there should be a colon there. When you hear the criticism, that criticism takes precedence over validation. You hear this, a jah yuqaddam ala ta'deel, a lot, you hear it a lot. But it's not true, actually. And that's something that you may find out there, like if someone's criticized, we prefer the criticism, and we don't listen to any good qualities about them, so we cancel them, basically. So Suki is saying, no. And he said that might cause you to assume, especially if you are inexperienced or solely rely on books, that criticism should always be adhered to. So like now we think about how easily, like you could just put something online, someone can put something online about someone, <coughs> and that's it. Like it's a wrap. Peace out, homie. At least Khadr gave him three times. So he says, beware of this assumption that, you know, if someone's criticized, that's it, as it is critical to approach this matter with caution. The correct approach, as we see it, is that when someone's leadership and integrity has been established, and they have numerous supporters and years also of work and few detractors, and if there is evidence suggesting that the criticism stems from sectarian bias, Salafi Sufi, or other motives, we disregard the criticism and uphold their integrity. 